these five in a row now that have been outside the United States. I mean, are you talking yeah. to, to, to Joe and saying, hey, man, get me on those cards? No, I'm just asking them uh, that I'm ready to fight. And uh, whatever happens as far as, like, who's available, where is available, he just decides to send me there. And I just, like, all right, cool. I guess I'm going across the world right now. So, but uh, I just embrace it all. I enjoy it. What do you think? I mean, is, is, is another 2014, 2015 type year where you fight five times a year? Can, do you want to do that again? Or are you getting to a point where it's, it's, it's not that fun anymore? No, it's still fun. I'm having a great time doing it. I mean, uh, one of the things that I, I've been pretty uh, fortunate about is like, even though I fought often, I haven't taken much damage at all in the fights. And uh, that's something that allows me to continue to keep fighting as often as I would like to. So if I burst the opportunity to fight five, six times this year, I'll definitely take that. But Hopefully those fights are setting me up to run for a title by the end of the year or something like that. It was a while ago. We talked about it at the time, though, but I, I did want to talk about it again. Like, going to the guy's seminar. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a big deal. There's a lot of people, I think, like, I don't know if it's pride or ego. It's probably ego more than pride where they, they, you sure. know, they couldn't do something like that. So what was it like for you to just say, I'm going to go learn from that guy that beat me? Yeah, for me, it was awesome. I, mean, that's what, I feel like that's what this sport's all about. That's what got me started with it. I mean... Uh, from when I first walked to Miguel towards the gym, discipline and, and, and focus and honor and all this stuff was like what drew me to the sport. So I kind of never want to lose sight of those values and having an opportunity to go to David Maya's seminar just kind of put those things in, in order for me. I mean, uh, even when I went to the seminar, he pulled me aside and, and taught me things I was doing wrong in my last two fights prior to fighting him. And I thought that was pretty respectable, especially considering the fact we're both still active well to weights or whatever, for him to like put his ego aside, put his pride aside, and just like actually helped me get better as a, as a martial artist. I thought that was pretty cool. So he had picked out things in your tape that he had seen before that he knew was wrong? Yeah, I mean, he picked out two things I did uh, consistently wrong against both Eric Silva and Kelvin Gaston, and he worked on it for a quick five minutes with me, and I applied it to my training once I got back home, and I, I see it made a difference. You mentioned uh, you know Maya having the youth on your side. You'll have the youth on your side here, but <laughs> I, I'm guessing maybe you, you learned your lesson there. You're not writing him off because he's a little older than you. Yeah, definitely not writing off the old guys. I mean, those old guys definitely got some tricks up their sleeves, and uh, I'm just supposed to be a great fight. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna come out hard, look for a knockout early. But I'm just ready to go in there and put in a great show. Massive size difference. Um, are you training? It's kind of weird. Are you training with smaller guys to get used to it? Because I know sometimes. When a guy's that small compared to you, who's, who's big for the division, it can be kind of a little tough to get range and punch down and that sort of thing. For sure. I mean, it worked out great. I mean, uh, I have guys like Drew Dober on my team who's pretty much the same build as Hector Lombard. And uh, we just, it just came one of those things where I was just constantly working on things that I need to do better. And for the last couple of weeks, whatever, I just focused on like applying those things to a smaller opponent or uh, training partner. And that's how I feel like I, I prepared for Hector Lombard. I'm, I'm good to go now. Is this one of those fights where you feel like the, the key is really just to weather the early storm? I mean, I think that's kind of been a tradition through his career. Yeah, I mean, it, a lot of guys try to wear the early storm, but I feel like if I bring the storm to him early on, it's going to change the total of the fight. I mean, being a guy like Hector Lombard, it feels like it, it takes my career to the next level. I mean, it puts me in a position to fight a guy who's ranked top five and then eventually fight for a tie by the end of the year. I mean, if all things go well, I'll, I'll fight Hector this weekend, win, and then by midsummer, be fighting a guy in the top five and then look to fight for a tie by the end of the year.